Okay, so here we have the assembled radar carve that I picked up on eBay and I have it uh, pretty much set up and ready for a maiden voyage. The point of me buying this was in order to do some duplication of uh, acoustic guitar and electric guitar next, but predominantly for the acoustic guitars, saved me a lot of work. So what I did was make a hold down table for them. Obviously I made a uh, center line for the table and for the extension. And I settled on specific truss rods that I would use or that I would cut. All of my templates, oddly enough, are older Martin style uh, truss rod slots with an 11 millimeter. So I took an old truss rod and centered it and screwed it to the table uh, with appropriate length to hold it from sliding back and forth. And I put um, T bolts underneath all along the way, and you'll see how I utilize those in a moment. But I could put the hold downs anywhere I like them. Um, so Let's uh, let's put a template neck on. Now here, again, this is an older Martin style neck with the and it fits on it fits on there fairly snugly, which is good. And I line up the heel. right there and then I take my semi cut neck blank I'm trying to do this one hand is a little bit uh, complicated uh, let's see again same thing it fits on there so that it has no side to side movement and line it up on the same line with the back I think I'm going to have to set this down somewhere in order to uh, demonstrate the hold down. Okay, and what I need were some hold downs that uh, simply made of maple with some quarter 20 bolts. And the way they're going to work. And this is all day one. I will certainly get some different nuts for this and use perhaps thumb screws. I think that will work. And that baby ain't going anywhere. And I will probably put a little piece of cork in the center of these just uh, so it has a little pad to it. I don't want to dent the neck, although I'll be sanding it again. It shouldn't be a problem. So once I begin to roll, and again, I've already got this pretty much set up as far as height with the router bit and feels pretty balanced although I might want to bring this forward just a little bit put a little more weight on this side but I should be able to go right across this all the way down to here I think that I'm going to need a longer uh, ball mill or end mill on the end in order to do the heel, but we shall see. 
I can still make this pretty much over here, depending on how much this gets in its way. Um, this will be removed, so they might be able to get some, some distance out of it. But I think I'm going to need something a little bit longer than, than this uh, mill that they gave me. But I'm glad I have it, so that I can at least give this thing a test run. It's made in Voyage. I have this table center lined and screwed to this table. If this works out well, what I'll do is put something permanent here and put a bolt-on system. But this uh, looks like it's going to work initially. And uh, we shall see. Okay, so modifications to the hold down system for my radar carve duplicator. What I've done here is make uh, two platforms. that will be secured to the twin rotating, well, there'll be twin rotating, rotating tables. And again, the transport or the rotating system is from Radar Carve is this unit here. I've it mounted to a separate uh, table so that I can remove it. All right, here we have the hold down system is going to be set with the maple clamps. Very much the same as I had on the fixed table from the previous video with T-bolts on the back side or T-nuts. And on the back side I have a steel set insert that will hold up against the uh, radar carves pin, which is this unit here. And I need the steel center set so that the wood would obviously wear out and wouldn't be secure. Okay, so here I have the, the sleds mounted. They're center lined here to the swivel units so that, again, we can keep everything consistent. They swivel fairly easily, no problem. So I'll be able to do the heels. Again, the problem I have was the router was hitting the top of the heel, so I had to come along and be able to have a way to do the sides of the sleds. We'll see if I need to trim this off any. I don't know yet until I actually do um, a second test on this. But I'll put the center guides on as I did on the The original fixed table. There we go. Again, as long as you have the decide on what truss rods you're going to use and manufacturer you're going to pick from, then you simply cut a piece to fit into those, and you're you're good to go. So the next uh, phase of this will be testing it out, and I will do that shortly. Also, one more thing, for me at least, on the back side of these, oops, I'm going to put a uh, piece of aluminum angle iron um, I just don't want to have the possibility of any flex and as, as stable as this material is uh, I'm not it's it still has a little bit of flex to it at this at this length so I'm going to put a piece of angle iron on it in order to uh, just be sure that that doesn't happen I don't want it flexing on me so I'll put a piece of something on there 
and then I'll mount this permanently or bolt it to the table. But it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. This is a a good modification to what I was originally thinking. I thought I would have permanent tables that I could just shift off, but what I will do is make uh, permanent sleds uh, for the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar next. Should be good to go. Okay, finally got the... <clears throat> I'll call them sleds for better. These are nice and tight. My lineups are exact. Table is level. These are level to the table. They're even. And uh, the swivel works pretty good. And I did have to take it off of the, I had it raised up on a, a table that I could remove this whole thing as one unit, but that didn't work. <clears throat> the tilt back of the headstocks get in the way if you raise it up even just a little bit. Those are, are very secure. I've got aluminum angle iron across the back on both edges. Again, my issue was always that it might in fact uh, buckle in some way. That's going to hold it pretty stable. So now I'm pretty confident and comfortable that that's going to work. Okay, I'm as far as I can go without hitting the uh, router body on the edge of the template. I've cleaned that all up. I'm just trying to see how far I can go and what I can actually do here. This is locking the transport.
Well, I think overall, <clears throat> that's done a uh, pretty darn good job. Obviously, it needs a little sanding. It's uh, still a couple of areas I could go over. But uh, I think it's, uh, it's done an excellent job of really cutting that out. In the future, I'll certainly remove a good deal more material. No sense in routing all that material off. It's, uh, it's like learning a new bar chord. You get a little cramp in your hand. But uh, as you can see, that's a pretty fair representation. And once uh, my skill level increases and my handling of this, uh, this tool gets better, it'll be smoother operation for me.